Hey guys, so if you aren't already aware, the new Model 3 Highlands comes with the new blind spot system. And this is an indicator on each side of your mirror and that will pretty much replace what older cars have. This was a big surprise and a huge request from the community for having these proper blind spot systems. What you guys are familiar with Tesla up to this point is the rear repeater cameras on each side. So when you do turn on your signals, you will see on the center display having the indicator on that side as a stream this was pretty nice and there are a lot of other brand companies on the sub levels like honda civics that do have a blind spot camera but the very one thing you will notice is that it is only available on the right side or the opposite side of the driver this is done very intentionally because when you try to merge into another lane you are looking at the display rather than the mirrors itself this might work if you are turning your head in the same direction as the display and the mirror but it does not work if you're turning on the opposite way but have to switch your head around to take a look at what's on the display so because of this you'll see vehicles like the honda civic that will only show the feed when you are turning right whereas if you do merge into the fast passing lane you will see there is no camera feed because that would defeat the overall purpose of its use so all of this might sound really crazy to you but the fact that that it is a very important feature up to this point when you are in a moment where you do need to merge into another lane you really just want to look for a simple indicator to let you know if there is a blind spot vehicle there or not so what's happening here is tesla has finally added it on to the model 3 highlands and i'm sure you guys are aware of it by this point if you have been watching this channel but if you guys aren't there is something additional that you guys should know and that is the fact that it's only available on the driver's side of the speaker i wish tesla had put it on both sides so we as drivers can get accustomed to looking at a certain spot well now you have to readjust to looking at the indicator on the left side of your mirror and then you're gonna have to look at the screen when you are merging right so all of that could really be solved by adding the extra indicator and i really hope tesla does do this but as of right now the manual does say it's only for the driver's side now i bet there's gonna be that one guy in the comment that says they've been driving for 45 years and never wants to they need to rely on such technology there is a lot of us that do rely on the blind spot system and i really do like the fact that tesla is bringing it back but i really wish they implemented just a little bit better well don't feel too bad just yet because i think there is an extra layer to this and tesla does have something up its sleeve now you guys know by now that the new model 3 highlands do have ambient light throughout the entire car and i'm just so in love with it i know it's not a big deal to a lot of people out there who just want the simplicity of the vehicle but this ambient lighting serves a lot more purpose than just lighting up the vehicle so here's the thing very similar to companies like lexus audi bmw and mercedes tesla can simply just push out a software update that will mesh the two systems together the blind spot and the ambient lighting system to make it into one perfect system that will give you an array of different safety features. Think about how Audi used their ambient lighting system to make sure that there is no upcoming vehicle or bicyclist when you open your vehicle. It will flash really red to make sure and make sure that you don't open your door onto them. At the same time, they can use each segment of the LED to make sure that you don't forget to turn off your turn signals. And the biggest thing they can do with the future software update is incorporate the blind spot system System into the ambient lightings on the door so you'll be able to see with just the glowing lights where and when the vehicle is with tesla and software update there is so many things that they can do to the ambient lighting system alone i personally can just think of 10 things the top of my head here like when you'll reach your destination just by using the leds so yeah even though tesla has recently only incorporated the blind spot system and the led into the speakers of the driver's side there is going to be be a lot of future possibilities with what they have right now so there's no need to worry at all one thing too is that right now we've only seen the red leds inside of the grill but i do think these are rgb and tesla will definitely be able to do something with them in the future so we'll just definitely have to wait and see when somebody takes delivery of their vehicle to see what's going on with that so yeah i am super stoked and super happy that tesla has listened and brought back some of the features 
that we really want. I know future full self-driving is going to remove a lot of these features, but as of right now, there is no full self-driving feature complete yet. So that means that a lot of us are going to be depending on a lot of these driver safety aid system. And it's definitely really great that Tesla has listened and brought them back. So yeah, guys, lots of possibility with the ambient lighting system. So don't worry at all just with the blind spot LED. That's pretty much to summarize this whole video here. Lots more coming up about the Project Highland, the Project Juniper, and a bunch of other things. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where you guys can continue to communicate with me outside of YouTube. I'll respond to pretty much anything. So hit me up there. And for those of you guys that are new here and are wondering why the hell am I sitting inside of a van and not a Tesla and why am I not inside of a studio like I would be in my older videos. Well, that's too bad for you. I'm not explaining it. This is John once again. Peace out.